What's up everybody? Neo here with Gadget Hacks, and today we're going over the Smart Lock feature introduced on Android Lollipop. Now what this feature offers is the ability to have your device unlocked when you're connected to a trusted Bluetooth device like a smartwatch or your car's stereo. You can also have your device unlocked in a trusted location or you can unlock it pretty seamlessly using your face. So let's go over it and show you exactly how to set it up. So if you take a look right now, Smart Lock is actually not unlocked. In order to do so, all you have to do is set a screen lock, meaning you can't have swipe or none. You need to have a pattern, pin, or password. So let's just go ahead and do a quick pin, set it up. And once I apply this, it will actually unlock the options for Smart Lock. So now you'll see that I can actually select Smart Lock. So once you're in the smart lock preferences, as I mentioned, you can use the trusted devices, trusted places, or trusted face options. So let's go over the trusted devices right now and show you how to set this up. Before you actually tap on it and trying to get ahead of yourself, you're going to have to go into your settings and go to the Bluetooth settings. Now you're going to actually list your device or sync it up prior to trying to do the setup. So I already have my car set up, so it's listed right there. And it actually doesn't work with phones, though you may want to try it out, but I didn't have any luck trying to do it with my iPhone. But it does work with, say, your Android smartwatch or, like I said, your car, which is convenient because you don't have to look down. So I have my Sonata listed. So I'm ready to go. Let's go back into Smart Lock. And all you have to do is select Trusted Devices, Add Trusted Devices, and then you'll see Bluetooth, there's also NFC, and then there's my Sonata. Obviously I'm not connected because I'm nowhere near my car. But I just added to the list and when I'm in my car I should have a small icon on the top of my status bar with a lock that's unlocked. So just be aware of that. And then I can actually lock my phone and when I have to unlock it all I have to do is swipe instead of inputting my my um, pin that I already set up. Alright, so we went over trusted devices, let's go over trusted places, which like trusted devices you will have to set up prior to actually selecting the preferences. So let's go and enter the Google Maps app. Using Google Maps you're just gonna go into the settings which I'm already in, but you typically be on this screen when you open it up. Just open the settings, go to your places, and simply add your home or work address right here. I have one address input it already, so I'm ready to go. But you can enter your home as well or work, and you also have the option to add a additional custom address. So let's say you're at your girlfriend's often, you might want to do that. So these are trusted environments. Now I'm going to go back into the settings. Let's go back into trusted places, and you'll see some toggles. There's work you would just toggle it on and now when I'm at work there's no need to actually unlock my phone. Let's actually show you. So you should see a small unlock icon right here and there you go I didn't even have to unlock it because I'm in a trusted environment. So trusted face is pretty simple and self-explanatory you'll just have to do the setup taking a couple of pictures of your faces and there's also the option to take extra pictures of different um, different angles just so it's even more accurate but definitely check out the full guide for that as we've already covered it and there's a video included so you don't even have to read anything but definitely check out that guide to see how to make it even quicker to unlock your device just using your face which is harder to actually crack than a code or a pattern. So as mentioned, definitely check out the full guide on GadgetHacks.com and there you'll see the guide and video for face unlocking which you probably won't have any trouble setting up. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks guys.